Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ty. So this is everything that I use to create my masterpiece. Um, everything will be in the description below with links. Um, this is the fabric of choice. Only $3 from Hobby Lobby. So, so, so soft. The only con was that it was shedding like crazy when I was cutting. Um, so anywho, this is the pattern that I use. I simply just took another shoe and just traced the sole. Is Then I end up cutting it out and end up retracing it by adding a quarter of an inch of seam allowance and using that bigger piece as my main pattern for this project. So what I'm going to do first is just measure the perimeter of the shoe. Um, this is for um, the sides, so I know how long I need to cut um, the sides of each shoe because we're going for a platform look. Here I'm just simply just kind of playing with how I wanted to do the top. Um, I decided to just do like a little pretzel crisscross look that I'm sure you've seen at multiple stores and I'll have my dimensions in the description as well. Um, so here you see me cutting. Um, when you're cutting, be sure to flip your pattern over so um, you have um, a cut for each foot and you're not cutting out for the same side. And then I'm also doing that for um, the uh, this non-slip um, grip fabric that's meant for house shoes. Um, you're going to do that exact same thing. So yeah, so to the foam, um, you are going to use your smaller pattern um, for the inside because the other one was meant for seam allowance. And I decided to do um, a total of four cuts. So um, I ended up doing two for each foot and just stack them on top of each other because I really wanted to have that platform look. So um, this is total preference you could just leave it as one but I end up decide cutting out four so here I am cutting out my pieces for the top as well as for the sides of my shoe here and then I'll also just have the dimensions as well as the description box as well but I simply just cut it um, about 25 inches um, down and two and a half inches wide so these are my cuts for the top of my shoe. And then I also decided to um, cut out some little felt to put inside of these pieces here just to give it more of a plushy look so it's not as flat. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take um, each one of these and I'm going to fold it over in half, pin it down, and um, sew it down along the side. Um, just to give you an idea of the size of the pattern that I, created here um, is about eight inches long and about five inches wide i'm a size seven shoe so pretty much just depending on your shoe size that's what you'll base your measurements off of so again i'm just simply just folding each and every one over and i am going to do a top stitch all the way down for each one and then once i do that i am going to um, take the felt and do the exact same thing just fold it in half and then I'm going to do a top stitch again this is just to give it more of a plushy feel on the top of my foot and then once I do that I am going to take the pattern I'm going to fold it inside out and I'm going to take that felt and I'm just going to push it in there and I'm going to do that to all four of those And here's just to give you an idea of what I'm going for for the look. You just continue just to kind of play with it as you go. Just be creative. Make it your own. And um, so now we're going to go to um, adding the sides. So what I highly advise, especially for me, because I didn't have a pattern, I freestyled this. I am going to take this and I'm going to pin it and I'm re-measuring the perimeter of the shoe. So um, I'm taking my side that I cut out and I'm just pinning it just to make sure it's the correct size. You don't want to just start sewing because, you, you know, that leads to boo-boos. So you see I made it actually a little too long. So I end up uh, pinning it to where I needed to cut it. And then um, I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to sew them together first. And I'm going to cut off that excess fabric. And then I'm going to repin it to the shoe like I just did to the perimeter. And um, once I re-pin um, it down, then I'm going to sew it.
And be sure that when you're doing this, it's right sides together. Um, everything should be inside out when you are sewing. Um, just keep that in mind. You don't want to have any errors. So um, I try my best to try to keep the as much fur in the inside as I could, but it's so much of it. It was getting so messy, so I um, just kind of winged it, but I tried my best to make it neat. But once you kind of fluff everything out, you're not going to really make, the, make a difference. And then, too, you know, this is the bottom, so there's that. So, yeah, it should look something like this. It's already starting to look like a little slipper. So here I'm just showing you two options. So what you can do is you can just take the foam, stuff it on in your shoe, and then take the top, lay it on top of there, and then you can just hand stitch all the way around and um, take your top piece and then just hand stitch the sides. Or what I'm doing is I am actually going to take the top portion of the slipper and I'm going to pin it all the way around leaving the bottom portion open and I am going to sew majority all the way around the shoe leaving the heel part open um, just like I did for the sole of the shoe and just leaving that bottom part open and then just sewing that down and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it inside out. And then I'm going to take the foam and stuff it in there. Make sure everything is facing the same way. And then once you stuff that in there, you're going to have the heel opening. And then you can just take that and then just pin it. And then you're going to hand stitch that close. And then I am taking the top portion of my slipper and I am going to hand stitch the sides and clean it up and any like little flur flurries or whatever, little hairs that's sticking out that's obviously like caught in the seams. Just picking that out and then just making everything look clean and pretty. And then last thing I am going to do once I finish hand stitching is I am going to take a um, lint roller and then just get all that access um hair off my shoes so it's not shedding and then we're gonna try them on and we're gonna wear them around the house and they are just so cute y'all and they're so fluffy and just oh, i love them so uh, <laughs> i hope you guys love this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe let me know if you have any other suggestions on something that you may want me to create um but yeah i'm back i'm coming back with some heat and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video bye